Now his bust is starting at the head, working straight down the top of the spine, cutting with the hair from underneath. You'll notice how far down notice how far down Buster's gone with that cut, leaving plenty of room. Don't want to skimp on the cape, taxidermist can always trim it for you later. See the see the bullet hole there on the spine? Dropped him on the spot, didn't take a step. There's entry wound in the in the cape. You'll notice Buster's going nice and slow here, making sure he gets as much meat and fat and stuff off the back of the skin as possible. Makes it lighter to carry out. Exactly right. And when we get back to the car, I've got a big bag of salt there. We'll salt the skin for the trip home. Keep it till the taxidermist can get his hands on it. So we're almost done. We're taking the leg down to uh, down to the first joint, skinning around, getting ready to flip him. Before we roll him over in the dirt here, Buster's just going to get the back straps out of him. Don't have to be so fussy with the skin this way. Just carve him back. As you can hear from where I'm moving around, it's crunchy as buggery underfoot. Buster's done a cracking job to uh, get to within 60 yards of this stag to take him undisturbed. Here's Buster taking the back strap out. As you can see he's cutting along beside the spine there. Freeing up what is without a doubt one of the best cuts of meat on a deer. So he's working his way along the spine there. Extra grip, yeah. punch a hole through it, hang your finger on. Excellent trick. And here comes the rain. Now there's something to be careful of. As Buster's been getting the back strap out, he's bloody he's just nicked the belly. Fortunately we've avoided any contamination on the meat. But you can see how easy a slip of the knife can bloody ruin some good meat. Yeah, we'll free up as much of the cape on this side as we can before we flip him. Righto, you can hear Buster puffing and panting there because it's bloody hard work getting the skin off to this point. The principle on cutting the head off of most things, even a human, is from ear to ear, which gets you right on the top joint of, an, of the spine, which will be coming through, there's his ear, so you're coming through about here, by right. If this doesn't work, we've got to edit it out. Coming in there, he's looking for the gap in the vertebrae to get the knife in.
And there he goes. They wouldn't be a trophy if it was easy, mate, would they? <laughs> I'm not unfit. <laughs> now we're just going to take a couple of drumsticks home. Same deal. You cut in there through the plane of muscle. Until he finds the hip joint. You can see the head of the femur there where he's popped the knife in. Just nicked the joint and dislocated it so then he can continue taking the leg off. Then we'll flip the old fella over and do the same on the other side. 